allow me to welcome this more Kamufana Kandarama. Yes, sir. Hey, man, I'm, I'm happy to have you. I haven't had you in years. Three years? Three it? years, yeah. Since 2017, I haven't been, you know, I haven't seen you. Yeah, are you sure? Not, even, <laughs> not just on, on the show, <laughs> yeah, but just even off the person, show. Yeah. But I see you on banners. I just move around. Oh, no, hey, this boy is going to be this <laughs> side. I'm like, I'm happy, I'm happy. Welcome to the show, man. Good to see Thanks you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you know what? Um, I think a lot has happened from the last time we had you. Last yeah. time I had you, there was a whole controversy of Baby D and whatever. Have you been, have you met with a boy ever since? Or is it like me who you haven't seen in a long time? Um, yeah, we do link up with the boy. I was with him yesterday, you know. But then it's just a low-key thing. Not until what I'm doing is like mm. concrete. Mm. That's when people can now see like, yo, they are, they are good, you know, like mm. that. Yeah. So you, you 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 do interact with him. How's how's he doing, by the way? I'm 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 proud that the boy is now in school. He's doing well. He's actually in his uh, seventh grade. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's doing well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's there's a lot that also you know that comes with with him and the interaction there because he used to get your raps, he used to hear your music and yeah. do that as well. So. Do you know if he's still rapping on the law, maybe? He, he's still rapping. He's been in the studio. But then, you know, he's been uh, managed by people who, who doesn't just want music part of him. But, mm -hmm. you know, his well-being, mm -hmm. even as he grow up, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah so he's, he's been recording, goes to school, you know, everything is just okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I've heard about, you know that they, they, they say different things, especially about you as an artist. They talk uh. about you. Uh, being the future of Zambian hip hop, do you agree with that? Yeah, hundred percent. I agree. Hey, hey. I've been putting out uh, hip hop songs which are big out there. You know, I thought you're going to be modest. Ah, no, it's up to the people. No, check. But it's straightforward. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm, 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 co I'm a confident person. You know. Mm. Yeah, I'm, every show I go to, I perform uh, hip hop songs. I, I, I'm more of a hip hop person than these other commercial sounds. You know. Mm. Yeah. Who do you say at the moment that, okay, we're in Diarico at the moment, we talk about Zambian hip-hop? Zambian hip-hop? Uh, you know, like, at the moment, I haven't seen people dropping uh, hip-hop songs, like, a variety of them, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's uh, near impossible for me to, like, point a finger, like, this is the, the actual person, you know, because mm -hmm. people are now doing these dunka sounds, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Hip-hop is the money per market at the moment, so... It's hard to point at the moment. So what's in a minute? Jake Cash, they're also doing the Dinka. They've, they've run away from the hip-hop. They are doing the most. Like, uh, Chase just dropped uh, uh, Chama John Art. Yeah, album, yeah. Yeah, I think they are good, good hip-hop songs on that project. Mm. Yeah. So if they're saying you're the future, so meaning present according to you, there's nobody? As in... You mean better the, than me or maybe? <laughs> no, because they say this more uh, is the future of Zambian hip-hop. So if, if it's They're the talking future, about a certain wave, you know, uh -huh. certain wave. They are, they are generations to these things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so they are talking about that younger generation. Oh, okay. Not as, as in compared to people who have been in the industry for oh, many okay. years. Yeah. I see. Yeah, there's a certain wave they are talking about. Mm. Yeah. All right, dope. You know, one of my favorite uh, songs by you, I mean, there's, there's a lot we can mention. But the one I love the most, just very, very creative, the transport, transport uh, money. money freestyle. I also love that one. What was it like coming up with that concept? Well, uh, it's, it's a, it was a song which uh, was done by Calligraph Jones. So, um, you know, there was a time... You know, I'm actually happy you've, you've mentioned that because some people thought uh, you just stole that concept. I, I didn't stole anything. Mm. I, I didn't do that, you know. It was just something... Uh, before I actually realized that it was Calligraph Jones' song, mm. there was like a comment video I watched like on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So I was like, this, this song in the background is making sense. So let me try to like, you know, I've been in, in such a situation where not just me, even a lot of men out there, they have been into a situation where they send some money to someone, they, mm. they refuse to come, you know. Yeah. So I feel like, yo, people can relate to this. Let yeah. me just, you know, translate it into our language yeah. and put it out there. That's Especially how, a guy, guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, because I'm going to have part two? Or? There's a part two, but then I just decided to, like, cut it from there. I didn't want to go further. 
there was a time uh, yeah Stevo's situation were you were you a fan of the situation series by Stevo? yeah very much yeah yeah did that also kind of motivate the whole songwriting process for the transport money maybe yeah yeah okay mm. all right awesome stuff now one thing I also noticed recently, in May last year, we had Kalandanya Music Promotions who um, put on their social media saying, welcome, this more than the whole artwork and everything. Mm -hmm. are, you, are you still under Kalandanya Music Promotions? No, I'm not part of KMP. I'm not. So what was, what was that about? Yeah, you know, it was just uh, one of those moments where you feel you are now going to be signed under something big you know but then due to some circumstances you know there was no paperwork you know time was moving mm. so you know i felt like we i went there like i talked to the management like yo are we doing this or not then they went mute you know mm. they, they so just, they didn't tell you why because i was talking to drifter they, they told him they're going to give him a contract january 2022 Jan uh, some contracts were supposed to come in after the elections you know but then we stayed for months without seeing any contracts you know, that's how everything went, you know. Because I've noticed in the same thing with, with, with J Cash. It, it seems to also be moving away with the whole KMP, moving away from that. But mm -hmm. for, for artists like Drifter, they, st they say he's still getting funding. Because I had him on the show last week. He says he's still getting funding from KMP. Oh. So you are not even getting it for your music videos, nothing. No. Everything so is being managed by a so Yeah. So at what point did you say, ah, which day, guys? Uh, sometime la last year, that's when I like had to put it aside, like, yo, this is not happening. Mm. Let's just do our thing, you know. We resumed with the Apaiso thing and everything, you know. Mm. Everything going good. Mm. So yeah. it's still back to Apaiso? Yeah. It's still... But say Nexus came through, offered you a deal, you're, you're down. You're ready to go? Uh, it depends, you know. There are some things you need to understand. You, you don't just sign anyhow, you know. Mm. If I, I'm cool with the contract and the paperwork, everything, then well, yeah. I'm cool. All right. Yeah. Maybe you never know. If, Maybe. My, if my company is cool with it, I'm cool with it, the paperwork is okay, we we'll, we'll sit and talk. Mm. Yeah. So even the deal you have with Apai is so entertaining because the way I know deals in Zambia, record deals, mm -hmm. it's either you're going to be uh the, the way kmp is they handle almost everything mm -hmm. then there's uh, record labels like maybe alpha entertainment who handle things like publicity promotion and others but they still get a cut from say your gigs whatever is that your the type of deal you have with upper so uh come again like do, do you do they get a cut as upper so entertainment definitely from, yeah there are yeah. there are some expenses you, you know running a, a record label there are some expenses you know yeah. So you raise funds through shows. Yeah, Definitely, yeah. you're not just going to get the whole amount that you've gotten from a gig and just use it for some personal things. Mm. You know, they are, you're supposed to, videos are supposed to be done. You know, there are movements. There's just a lot of costs, you know. Mm. So a certain percentage has to go to the company. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. All right. Yeah. Dope. And I've also noticed, I think you're working on an album now, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. How is that going? Uh, it's done. 100% done now. Really? Just waiting for, we're setting dates probably this week, then um, next month it should come out. Really? Yeah. Okay, just after the boss dropped his album a few months ago. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to see whose album is going to do better. <laughs> but so who can we expect? I've been seeing you posting pictures, Israel, Bobby East, uh, all these artists on the album. Ah, uh, well, uh, the, the playlist, uh, like the track list, yeah. uh, it's, it's I, I, I'm keeping it to myself at the moment. I don't want to, you know, that uh, curiosity from people, you know. Mm. I'm, I'm not announcing anyone at the moment. I just want them to see, like, yo, this is the guys who are on the project, you know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. Should we expect a lot of rap from it? Yeah, definitely. I'm a hip-hop guy, so there are a lot of hip-hop joints on the project. The, there are the, some few R&B songs, you know. Yeah. commercial music it's a it's a it's a well-preserved meal yeah. yeah wow i love that i love that i love that and what do you plan on calling it uh ghetto to my ad ghetto to my ad yes sir you love the representing eh? Jake yeah. Cash, john howard ghetto to my ad yeah okay so you've because you've moved from ghetto to my ad yeah i've moved from that point you my ad man 
Ah, my dino eka. So that go ahead and take my dino. Just how you're keeping keeping yourself. It's my idea, you know. Yeah. Yeah, being responsible. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. so we're gonna do this. So we're out with Dismo. Uh, when we get back, we're gonna play a game. Okay. All right. So I'll tell you about the game and the rules when we get back. Okay. Yeah, man, you're watching I and I can dance crazy on the table with <laughs> Chimweka. I'm sure I'm going to get it. Ah, the Welcome back, still watching on the table. My guest is uh, Kamufana Kandalama. I just l recently learned, so it means what? Mufana wa Jekash? It's a, it's a Kamita 14, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, Kamufana Kandalama, yeah, J, U, K, yeah. how you understand it? Yeah, again, the it's same how, time. Yeah. Kamufana Kamani. Yeah, Kamufana Kamani, so to say. Okay, all right, cool. But in a money, but. <laughs> <laughs> After you moved to my yard, so obviously you've got money now. Uh, but anyway, let's 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 play a little game. It's called this and that. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give you two options of things. Okay. So you have to pick which one you prefer. So which one you like best. So is it this uh, more Kamfana Kandalama? You pick which one you prefer to be called. Just like that. So you yeah. say which one it is. So are you ready? You can go. Yeah. Start? Yeah. All right. Android or iOS? Android. Boomplay or Spotify? Boomplay. Fly J or Baby D? Baby D. A bombshell feature or a Clio ice cream feature? Uh, um, both. <laughs> no, you can't pick both. That's one of the rules. No both. It's either both one. or none. So, yeah. well, no, you have to pick one. No, it's you have, either uh, both or none. You're breaking the rules. It's this or that. Oh. It has to be one. Uh, okay. Look, they're both dope, but then check. Both or none. <laughs> no, you're trying to be smart this morning. You have to pick no. one. It's a game. It's a game. No one is going to beat I you up. I will go for uh, clear ice cream. Clear ice cream? Yeah. Dope. R&B music or dance or music? R&B. A collab with JK or a collab with your maps? Uh, your maps. Holiday in Livingstone or Holiday in Samfia? Livingstone. Rolex or Ublo? Ublo. Benz or BMW? Benzo, Benzo. <laughs> Facebook or Instagram? Instagram. Ah, all right, man. This more. Thanks a lot for coming to my brother. Anytime. I really appreciate it. And, um, we, we continue listening to your music, man. It's, it's absolutely amazing. The love people have for you is absolutely amazing out there. Don't you just feel good when you go out there? The love that you always get. It's a vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when you're on stage and the crowd is singing along. Because when I see the way people even sing along to your hip-hop songs, it's different. Because you know most people sing along to the doom guy. Right? Yeah, but yeah. But you make people sing along to your hip-hop music. I make them jump, you know. They just jump in while they're drunk. They don't care even if they fall or something. They just <laughs> jump in. <laughs> this was my guest. Thanks a lot once again for coming through. And we've looked at different issues earlier on. We were joined by Logic Benson, a.k.a. Mr. Cosmas Ngandwe. And this more uh, wrapping up this edition of On the Table. My name is Chumweka.